Well, welcome to Every Coach Needs a Coach, the podcast for coaches of all sports and all age groups to learn from coaches and people they may otherwise never have the chance to meet. Today on C1, D1, Teach One, we're introducing a new word, which is happiness. As we go through our alphabet here, we talked about gratitude, and today we are starting happiness. So happiness is defined as feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Happy in sports can be so evasive. We see it all the time in people's body language. And one that just comes to mind is we we see them all the time, the teams that celebrate early. The teams that celebrate early and with four seconds left on the clock and they're up by one in a basketball game or they're up by two, they start celebrating. The other team inbounds the ball. They hit a they hit a half court shot or they hit a long three. And now who appeared to be the happiest is now at the lowest point. And the team that ends up winning is triple as happy or appear to be triple as happy as the team that celebrated early. There's a quote that I love, and we'll talk about this another day, that says, happiness is not a destination. It is a way of life. Happiness is not a destination. It is a way of life. And it's something that I'm trying to take into consideration as I coach to stay pretty level-headed and to not allow, I, I try to stay even keeled so that when we score, of course I'm happy. And when we get scored on, I don't know that I'm happy, but I'm not sad. I'm okay. I'm okay. And there's power in having self-control over what makes you happy and what makes you sad. We see this a lot with our players. We have players who might be unhappy with how they're playing. We have players who might be unhappy with how much they're playing. We have parents who might be unhappy with the formation that we're playing or parents who might be really happy at the formation that we're playing. And I think it's really dangerous to give someone else that power to make you happy, right? Am I going to ruin your Thursday night because I played a five out formation in, in a basketball game, right? Or, or a three out two in offense. Am I going to ruin your Saturday night because now you think the coach doesn't know what she's doing? I think there's a lot of power in giving someone else that capacity. So we'll talk about that a lot this week. Um, my challenge for you is to sit down and think about, are you happy? If, if your situation suddenly changed, if things got taken away from you or added to your life, would you still be happy? That's a heavy one. It's going to be a heavy week. Uh, we'll go into some research articles and some stories and some examples. I'm looking forward to it. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.